What's up guys, my name is Andrew Clark and in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how I started improvising guitar solos. Now, a lot of people start learning using kind of the blues method, so they'll learn over a one, four, five progression or something like that. We are gonna use chord progressions that you might see in pop or rock or country music, so it's a little bit more of a diverse way of approaching improvising. So to get started, we are going to learn a very basic scale shape, and it is just a major scale, and for the sake of this lesson, we're gonna be completely in the key of E major or C sharp minor. And we are gonna be starting up on the ninth fret on the G string. So I will play through the scale and then I will explain it. So what we're doing, again, we're starting on the ninth fret on the G string. We are playing nine. Then we are going up two frets on the same string, playing fret 11. Now we move up to the B string and we play fret nine. Then we go up one fret to fret 10. Then we go up two frets to fret 12. Then we jump up to the next string, the E string, and we play fret nine. And now this time we go all the way up to fret 11. And then we end the scale on 12. So that's just a very basic E major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, right? You've probably heard it a ton of times before. We are starting on an E note and we are ending on an E note. Very simple. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video if you've never learned this shape before and take some time just to get that scale totally under your fingers, committed to muscle memory. It might take you five minutes, 10 minutes, even if it takes you a couple days and then you wanna come back to this video, that's totally okay. Get that scale down. You wanna be able to go forward and you need to be able to go backwards as well. So forwards. Backwards. You don't need to be able to play it fast, just clean, and it needs to be kind of in your memory so you can whip it out whenever you want to. So in this lesson, we're gonna be using a jam track that I made that you can download, so make sure you go into the description and you find the link and you download this jam track because it's very important, but it's in the style of John Mayer's Slow Dancing in a Burning Room, and this is the exact song I learned how to improvise over using this exact shape. So I want you to download that. It's not the actual song, but it's the same chords. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on and we're just gonna play that scale in time over top of the song. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna kind of ingrain the sounds of each note into your mind over top of the chords that are gonna be played. So it should sound something like this. Okay, so that might have sounded a little bit weird. Not all the notes matched up perfectly, but the idea is these are your allowed notes inside of the key of this song, which is C sharp minor or E major, depending on how you look at it. We are playing an E major scale, which gives us all seven. We're playing eight because we're repeating a note once in an octave, but it gives you all seven notes you are allowed to play. So now we're gonna move on to the next step. And what we're gonna do for that is we are gonna play the root note of each chord that's played. So if you listen to the track, it's a C sharp minor, then it's an A major, then it's an E major, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a C sharp note, we're gonna play an A note, and then we're gonna play an E note. And you might not know exactly where those are, and that's totally okay. You don't need to memorize the note names uh, of this scale right away. But those notes are ninth fret of the E string, 10th fret of the B string is our A. And then our E is 9th fret, kind of where we started, right? Or up here. 
goes to the same note, just an octave apart. So again, ninth fret is our C sharp on the E string. Then we have 10th fret on the B string for our A. And then our E is down here and you'll see all those three notes are inside of the scale we've already learned. So keep that in mind in kind of this context. So now I'm gonna play the track again and I'm just gonna play the root note over each chord and nothing else. already sounding a little bit more musical, it's nothing fancy, but what we're doing is as the chord goes by, that root note of the chord, C sharp minor chord, we are playing a C sharp, A major chord, we're playing an A note, E major chord, we are playing an E note. Very straightforward, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a random note in between each transition. So this is kind of where it gets a little bit more complicated, and if you're already kind of pushing yourself to the limit and this is as far as you can go, that is totally okay. You can take the jam track and you can just practice this over and over. Now there is a B section to the jam track that we will get to later, but at least playing those root notes over that first section, like I was just doing, is gonna set you off on the right path for sure. So if you need to stop here, that's totally fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna play C sharp note, A, E, right? We are gonna add one random note in between each one, somewhere. It doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, but one note in between each one. And it just has to be a random note from the scale shape you've already learned. So this might take a little bit of practice, it's totally okay. But what we're gonna do is something like this. All we'll be doing is that, so let's hear it over the track. Okay, so you can hear with that we're getting a little bit more musical and now at this point you are technically improvising and the reason why is because you are basically making up which note in between each root note you are going to play. So we are off to the races. Now, what we're gonna do next is where you kind of get complete freedom and we're going to completely forget those root notes. Even though they're in your mind as those are kind of your, your home base notes over each chord, we're gonna forget that and now we are just gonna play random notes from the scale as we play over the track. And we're just gonna kinda see how it sounds and play around and use our ear. So let's do that. you are completely off to the races. We are totally improvising at this point. And yours might not sound exactly like mine. I was trying to keep it a little bit more simple. But the whole idea now is that there are no rules. You have this scale shape. There are no rules. You just use your ear and you just play the notes in whatever order, with whatever rhythm, however you want. And that is improvising. 
It's that simple. All we're doing is using a really simple scale shape to do it, and eventually you're gonna expand out and that's gonna be awesome. But just start with this, bring up the track, press play, and just use your ear to follow along and try and play something that sounds cool to you. The whole idea is we wanna break away from it sounding like a scale going up, a scale going down. So skip notes, try random jumps to each note, try sliding up and down to each note, try different things, it's totally okay. Now, there's a second part to this jam track where we go to what I would, will call like a B section or a pre-chorus or however we wanna look at it. And you can still do the exact same thing when you get to that point. It's just to give a, a, you a little bit of variation. But what happens there is we go from C sharp minor, A major, and E to a B, C sharp minor, A. So we add in a five chord or however you wanna look at it, a B major chord. So what that means is if you wanna play that root note, that's on the 12th fret of the B string, right? Which makes sense. So you can add that in there over top of that chord when it does come along, or you can just keep trying to experiment and use your ears as you go. So I'm gonna give you a bit of an example. Once you get this up to speed and you start expanding outwards, what this style of improvising can actually sound like. So every time you feel things starting to fall apart a bit or you feel like you're kind of getting to a point where maybe you're tripping over your feet a little bit, go back, go back a few steps, start playing the root notes again. Start playing just the scale over top of the song again. Go back and work your way back up. The whole point is to be creative, to have fun, to play music. Like I said, there are no real rules. At least right now, all we're doing is we're gonna stay in the constraints of this scale, but don't worry about rules too much. It's just about having fun. That's the whole point, okay? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to the channel here as well. I'll see you guys later. What's up guys? My name is Andrew Clark. What's going on? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to improvise guitar solos. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'll do another, hold on, I'll do another one. Okay, okay. Hey, my name is Andrew Clark. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I improvise guitar solo. Don't beat me up, man. I feel like you're gonna beat me up. Thank <laughs> you.